So family, we're here at the old fort in Zanzibar, right here in Stone Town. When I mean old fort, this thing is so ancient, it just, I'm so surprised it's standing. And as soon as you come in, there's a nice little tourist center. And then there's a brief presentation. And unfortunately, it's been modified into a shopping center, which <laughs> people like myself don't feel right shopping in forts and slave dungeons. But that's just me personally. I'm not here to knock what you got to do, but it's, it's a little traumatizing energy. But as you can see, these are the typical forts. Um, I would say, I, uh, I think it was more of a fort. Let me find out if, um, if stolen Africans were kept here. But um, I think it was just a, a fort uh, and doing the... Okay. Um, this, so is this a fort and safe dungeon or just a military fort? No, no. It was old fort, Arab fort against Portuguese. But okay. well, no, no slavery going on in this fort? Yeah, yeah. no. No this, military. It's a military So I'll tell you. Outpost. So now welcome to this uh, old fort or Arab fort. So this fort was built between 1688 and 1701 by Oman Arabs who had gained control of Zanzibar following almost two centuries of Portuguese occupation. As I told you before, the first European people came to stay here in Zanzibar were Portuguese. So during the time of Portuguese, they built a small church and small factory on the other side there. So when Oman Arab came to Zanzibar, because it wasn't, it wasn't easy to come and take over power, so there was a big fighting against the Portuguese. But in the long run, uh, Oman Arab, they managed to take over power. So this fort was used as a defense against the Portuguese and rival Oman group. But also the fort was built on the side of the church built by Portuguese between 1598 and 1612. In the 19th century, the fort was used as a prison where criminals were punished or shooted outside the East Wall. In the early 90s, the fort was used as a depot for the railway line that used to go seven kilometers away from uh, Stone Town. And that rail line was built by American in 1903 and end of service, it was 1927. So by that time, here in Zanzibar, no cars. And the main station of that railway line was inside of the airport in the house of Rwanda because the harbor and customer were around this side by that time. And also this fort has been rebuilt in 1949 and become the Zanzibar Tennis Court Club. It was during the British. And the fort has been restored down in 1994 and become the Zanzibar Cultural Center till nowadays. And that's why there's a lot of entertainment. Here in Zanzibar in this airport every year in July we have a film festival of the dog country. So it takes place on that side. So they show the music and also they, they, they play the music as well as the film. But also they play the music live here on, the, on that amphitheater. Oh, so it's a, a real theater right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go so see what it looked like. But also there's a the sound of wisdom. And also during the uh, uh, birthday of Bob Marley, also they play a lot of uh, reggae music around hey. here. Yeah, yeah. But uh, also during World Cup Euro, they put a big screen so that everybody can come and watch the soccer around here. Yeah. So that's uh, the history of the old folks. And then you also see uh, the back area of the House of Wonders and see why people say it may never be renovated. And I guess if a concert is going on, they got um, VIP uh, view from the top. Yeah. And then we see... Um, yeah. Um, VIP. VIP. Yeah. Yeah, they are top of the fort. Yeah, it's uh, like a doom. Oh, okay. So, what I was looking for, since I noticed all forts have cannons, um, do you have any uh, can cannons? Yeah, cannon in front of the House of Wanda, you can see. In some area, you can find them. Oh, but not in the fort? And not in the fort, yeah. yeah. But also, the reason why this town was so called is a stone town, because the material used to be those houses. Stone. Well, coral stones, as you can see. Those houses. A lot of coral stones. So, Oman Arab, they used to collect coral from the ocean, and then they mix with uh, soil with uh, white, I mean, lime. Whitewater. But nowadays it's strictly prohibited to collect any coral from the ocean. And that's why the town was so called the Stone Town. So, fam, you have heard the story yeah, yeah. from the Portuguese to the Oman Arabs. Is this okay, no guys. but oppression of our people? Yeah, yeah. 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 
from one you know from one generational master to the next so that's why you have that merger between Zanzibar and Tanzania mainland interest in surf history it shows that we have to unite our energy together because we, all we got is us and so this is the other part of the uh, old fort and for those of that's been to um, Ghana with us you'll see the similar technology as far as the forts uh, being built and it's always this you know, for one purpose the you know, military conquest and domination of the people so from one devil to another devil yeah. That's been the struggle for our people family.